to one and all today we have to conduct uh, one more experiment that it is verification of kirchhoff's voltage law that it is nothing but algebraic sum of all the voltages in a closed path is equal to zero this one is our last statement algebraic sum of all the voltages in a closed path is equal to zero in the circuit diagram they have applied certain 20 volts with the help of some regulated power supply three rheostats will be there 18 ohms 25 ohms 50 ohms all these three rheostats are connected in series observe 18 25 50 these three rheostats are connected in series and uh, across each resistor we observe voltage drop here v1 voltage drop here is v2 and this one is v3 the summation of all these voltage drops is equal to source voltage vs vs is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 that we have to verify it with the help of some kvl there coming to our connections wise <coughs> i would like to explain with the help of some 20 volts is given with the help of regulated power supply this one is our regulated power supply positive to 18 ohms one wire another voltmeter positive observe 18 ohms that it is regulated power supply is given to this one is 18 ohms real start one wire another wire i have connected here is this voltmeter positive then what the next step this other end of the voltmeter and 18 ohms other end these two this green colored wire and these two things are connected to the part of next part here is this one observe this one is connected to 25 ohms this one is 25 ohms point here is one joining point 25 ohms on end other end here is voltmeter this two this two. they have directly connected like this this green wire and these two things are connected to second the other end of 25 ohms and this voltmeter here they have connected to 50 ohms side these two they have connected to 50 ohms also 50 ohms and this one is voltmeter third voltmeter all the 50 ohms other end and uh, voltmeter is connected directly to dent also this one is rps negative na rps negative is connected to 50 ohms other end and this voltmeter also joined there all the wires are connected to this part then the center circuit is closed like this 20 ohms positive to 18 ohms and voltmeter on end voltmeter other end and 18 ohms is connected to 25 ohms one end voltmeter other end same thing this joining point is connected to next 50 ohms and voltmeter other end these two things are connected to negative of the circuit this one is the connection this like this then we have to uh, apply some practical circuit just on, on this one and try to apply some how much voltage we have to apply here 20 ohms point here like this yeah i just apply 20 volts here in this regulated power supply then i, I just want to go through the part of verification here i just apply 20 volt supply voltage then voltage across 18 ohms v1 voltage across 25 ohms here is v2 voltage across 50 ohms here is v3 observe the first reading for each and everything i have connected this one is one pair one rheostat uh, connected parallelly voltmeter second uh, 25 ohms rheostat connected parallelly like this 18 ohms rheostat connected parallelly one volt pair yeah observe the reading here this one is the voltage across 18 ohms we get some 3.87 na this one is the value here we observe 3.87 is the first reading same thing we can observe voltage across 25 ohms that it is parallel to the part of this uh, rheostat 25 ohms we get observe here voltmeter value 5.37 is the theoretical value observe this one is nothing but 5.5 something practical value slight variation and the third reading here is 50 ohms parallel to the 50 ohms we have connected one voltmeter now observe v3 value 10.75 same value here 10 after that we are having some 10.7 yeah we get all those values the summation of this one this one and this one will gives this total voltage 20 volts this one is the supply voltage and this one is the voltage drops v1 v2 v3 summation of these three voltmeters will gives this 20 volts this one is the kirchhoff voltage law which mainly depends upon law of conservation of energy thank you